Hello there! VRChat is constantly changing. They're adding new features all the time, but there's still one issue people have to face every single day. It is performance. No matter if you play on Quest 2 standalone or on a PC, the settings are almost the same, so don't worry and follow the steps in the video. Psst! Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it will definitely help me to reach a larger audience and make better videos. Most performance issues in VRChat are related to avatars. To fix this, you need to change some settings. Open your menu and click on the gear icon at the bottom. Scroll down to performance section and take a look at the sliders. The first slider allows you to hide avatars beyond a certain distance. I recommend hiding avatars that are more than 20 meters away. The second slider sets the limit of how many avatars will be shown close to you. Try setting it up to 10 or maybe 20. Depends on your setup, try to find what works the best for you. Under the sliders, you will see two options. Always show friends avatars and allow override with show avatar. Keep them checked. Now that we are in the settings, let's move on to extended section. Go to top right corner and click the square with an arrow inside to access full settings. Now in the left menu, navigate to performance tab. In the block fully optimized avatar section, you can choose which avatars to block. Each avatar has its own performance level, so you can try blocking very poor or poor and below avatars if there is a lot of people using them around you. But Keep in mind that probably most of them are your friends. Another important option here is max avatar download size. If your internet is slow, reduce the size to 100 megabytes or maybe 50 megabytes to avoid loading heavy avatars that takes a long time to load and use a lot of resources. Below you can find section called manage cache data. Sometimes VRChat have problems with cache, so make sure to click both buttons. So clear content cache and clear local avatar data. Don't worry, it will only remove temporary files so you won't lose any favorite avatars or word. Remember that using these buttons will take an effect after game restart. Now go to advanced graphic settings section. There are a few options to consider. For graphic settings and multi-sample aliasing, lower option means better performance but poor quality. Try to change them and find what works the best for you. Also make sure that the particle limiter option is checked. The mirror resolution option can also be adjusted from full to half or quarter to improve performance. That's all here, but it is important to mention that using mirrors can decrease your FPS. To change that, use a personal mirror instead of the low performance mirrors in the world. To do this, open your expression menu by holding B button or equivalent, go to options and then personal mirror, enable it. Then go to settings and make sure that the masking option for remote players is disabled. Of course now we've changed a lot of options that will help us boost our VRChat performance, but don't forget about safety settings. In addition to the values we already set, we should also change our shield level and customize it. But I already made a video about it, so go there and check it out. You can find a link in the description. It is not just avatars that can cast poor performance. The world you're playing in also affects it. Some worlds perform well on PC but poorly on Quest, and some works well with only you in but become laggy when there is more players. For example, at the very popular Japan Shrine world I usually have 120 FPS when playing alone or maybe two three friends using optimized avatars, but with more people it can drop to 50 FPS or even 25 sometimes, which not gonna lie is barely playable. That is why it is important to find optimized words, especially if you want to hang out with more people. If you are using Steam VR and the performance is low even in optimized world when you are playing alone, the steps I mentioned before will help, but they won't be enough. Try to lower your headset resolution in Steam VR. Open settings, find video section, and set custom resolution. Depends on your headset, you should also be able to change refresh rate. That way, it will use less resources. But if your computer struggles to handle Steam VR itself, without playing game, you should think about upgrading your PC. I hope this video helped you to improve VRChat performance. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. I will do my best to help you. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you soon in the future videos.